Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome everyone. And today we are going to start the next topic. That is the states of matter. You know, matter is anything which has mass and it occupies space. There are three fundamental states of the matter. One is the solid. Second one is the liquid. And third one is the gas. No doubt that there is another state of the matter which is called as the fourth state of matter. And it is plasma state but plasma is called as the non fundamental state of matter as far as the fundamental states are concerned these are only three solid liquid and gas and the different physical states of the matter are actually because of the difference in their intermolecular forces or you may say the strength of their intermolecular forces and the intermolecular distance between them Solid is the most common state of matter on earth. Means most of the species they are found in the solid state. For example, most of the elements in the periodic table, more than 100 elements in the periodic table, they are in the solid state. And solid state is the least energetic state as well. Its molecules, they possess minimum energy. The liquid state is the least common state of matter means there are very few species that exist in the liquid state for example only two elements in the periodic table they are in the liquid form one is a non-metal that is bromine and other is the metal and that is the mercury why it is the least, least state of matter or least common state of matter just because of the reason that its existence is in very narrow range of temperature and pressure. Mean a slight change in the temperature and pressure of the liquid state may convert it to the solid or the gaseous form. The third state is the gaseous state. It is the simplest state of matter because of the weakest intermolecular forces between the gas molecules. There are 11 elements that exist in the form of the liquids in the periodic table. As far as the compounds are concerned, there are so many compounds that are in the gaseous form. For example, carbon dioxide, HCl and so many others. But as far as the elements of the periodic table are concerned, there are only 11 that exist in the gaseous form. And these 11 elements are... <coughs> 6 of them are the noble gases, helium, neon, argon, Krypton, Xenon and Radon. Two are the halogens, Fullerene and Chlorine. And rest of the three are from different families of the periodic table. Nitrogen, Oxygen and Hydrogen. So these are the 11 elements of the periodic table that exist in the gaseous state. As far as the plasma is concerned, it is actually ionized gas. 
and plasma state is very common in universe but very rare on this planet earth the natural plasma is very rare on earth but the artificial plasma that is very common plasma state is the most energetic state of matter it is the most energetic state so this was a brief introduction of the different fundamental and the four state of the matter the topic of our discussion is that we are going to start that is the gaseous state gases have different properties like gases do not possess any definite shape the definite shape is not a feature of the gases but they attain the shape of the container in which they are enclosed second no definite volume gases do not possess any definite volume but they occupy the volume which is available to them even a small amount of the gas can cover the huge volume third gases have very low density why they have very low density because the intermolecular spaces are very large between the gas molecules you can say that the intermolecular distance between the gas molecules two gas molecules is almost 300 times of their own size so that's why they do not have any compact form so in the huge volume you will find a very little mass that's why they have very low density and a proof is that you can see that the gas they bubble out through the liquid due to their less density then gases are easily compressible why they are easily compressible just because of the reason that the intermolecular distance is very large and there are huge spaces between the gas molecules so the gas molecules they can be made close to each other and gas can be easily compressed by increasing the pressure similarly gases they very easily expand gases easily expand again because of very little interaction very little forces between the gas molecules whenever you release pressure or you increase the temperature the gases can expand similarly gases have all types of kinetic energies like the gas molecules they possess if they are polyatomic then they possess the translational or linear kinetic energy because of their translational motion they also possess the rotational kinetic energy because of their rotational motion and they also possess the vibrational kinetic energy because of the to and fro motion that they have but when we talk about the noble gases noble gases are the monoatomic gases their molecules are monoatomic molecules actually so they have only translational kinetic energy but if the gases are or the gas is polyatomic then it possesses all types of the energies then gases in the gas molecules there are certain collisions between the gas molecules these collisions are because of the translational motion of the gas molecules and when the gas molecules are collide with each other they exchange energy for example there are two molecules one is having 30 joule energy and other is having 20 joule energy they collide with one another 
then the one may have 32 joule and other may have 18 joule energy but the collagens are usually elastic in case of ideal gas there are perfect elastic collagens but in case of the real gases that we find in our daily life the collagens are not much perfectly elastic but up to some extent they are elastic collagens then the gas molecules they collide with the wall of the container and when they collide with the wall of the container they exert some force per unit area which is called as the pressure of the gas so gas molecules collide and they do show the pressure on the wall of the container then there is another property that gas molecules show diffusion and diffusion diffusion is actually the intermixing of the gas molecules and effusion is the leakage of the gas molecules through a very tiny hole from which the gas molecules leave one by one and the diffusion and effusion is most prominent in the gaseous state just because of the reason that they have translational kinetic energy they have free motion they have free movement the molecules of gases they are not bound to each other they are free to move so that's why they show diffusion and effusion they do mix with, with each other and they also leak they show the leakage like if you are feeling you come home and you feel that the tea is being made how do you feel the smell of the tea that is spread in the whole house and this spreading of the smell of the tea is an example of the diffusion and similarly if there is a very tiny hole in a balloon and the gas molecules are leaving from that tiny hole one by one so that is an example of the effusion these are certain important properties of the gases and these properties they differentiate the gaseous state from other two fundamental states of the matter which is the solid and the liquid state so this was a brief introduction of the gases and the four states of the matter out of which the three states are fundamental and the one is the fourth state or non fundamental state of the matter the next time we will come up with the laws that explain the behavior of the gases till then goodbye allah hafiz